got probably 16 inch but it's not really a muddy it's almost like fishing up to the bank when you go into the mud it's very rocky so I'm not going right into the mud um, just sort of fishing on the edge of it but I've got mud line sort of depth so I'm going to fish it the same way ground bait and pellets but to be honest if this wind gets up it could be a shallow and edge day so to start off with don't know what's going to happen today you know a bit of rain it's forecast to rain this morning might just put the fish off a little bit so exact same as last time bit of ground bait and micros three maggots on the hook and then I'm choosing maggots instead of casters I think you know casters can catch but maggots is a safer bet so I'm loose feed down that middle keep throwing a few down that edge probably got two foot in the edge and like I say 16 inch across there so if they come in over there hopefully they should come in this edge I didn't want to fish ground bait and micros down the edge because it's on these lakes your edges are a little bit closer to you they're only sort of top kit and one and sometimes they're a bit reluctant to come in the real shallow water you know if i could get like six seven meters away from myself um i'd probably choose to fish in the shallow water you know this is what depending on your peg the distance your depth all these things these are what you've got to make your decision and try and find the easiest way of catching the fish and like I said last time it's all about fishing positively so already that wind's starting to turn it's forecast to go across me so if it gets too bad then this across line might get sacked off but see if we can get a quick start on it there's some carp in this area, so hopefully we might get a couple of early carp to boost us on, get us on his way. I can't go any tighter in than this. I'm sort of on the edge of the lip before it goes into the mud, which is not ideal because the fish will be able to get round me float and swirl about. But if I go into the mud as such, it's full of rocks and bricks quite it's quite a lot of rocks on this lake you know some of the mud lines they can be a literally a house brick in your peg and can be a little bit awkward to for the fish to find your bait and things like that so what what you don't want to do is plumb up in a nice little shallow spot and find out you're behind an house brick or something Rain's not very nice. So all the time, a few maggots down the edge, a few maggots down that middle. Try and keep these lines built up. looks of it. Just take your time, make them count. Target weight, I don't really know what you're fishing for today. I mean, sometimes when it rains like this, your shallow fishing can actually be quite good. You know, so it could be a big weight shallow, it's overcast, it's a little bit cooler. Um, but it's not been fishing that well this late really so I don't know 120 won it on Sunday I ain't got a clue you might need 120 you might need 180 I honestly ain't got a clue doesn't look like it's going to be a big weight day but you just never know to be honest sometimes a bit of overcastness when they have a feed this one's putting up a fight Little angry common. Come on. There we go. Nice start. 
probably four pounds to start with. 